Tim back again with another video. This is gonna be a quickie. Uh, it's gonna be uh, about Redshift and noises because I had a discussion about this in the Houdini Facebook. Um, someone was asking if it's possible to use Houdini noises inside of Redshift. And I had a workaround for that, which was working. But now apparently they changed something in Redshift, which makes another even better workaround possible, uh, which is one, uh, what I'm gonna show you now. Um, so basically what the problem is, is that Redshift doesn't really have that great noises by default. Um, so like for example, if you want to use it for displacement, like I'm doing over here, like there's a couple of, of, of noise types, like you have fractal, you have turbulence, uh, you have cell, um, and you have some options, but that's about it. And as you know, Houdini has like a shitload of different types of, uh, types of noises. So it would be great if you could use that inside of uh, Redshift, which you can. So let me show you. Um, so what you do is you make a copnet. And in this copnet, I'm gonna make a noise. I'm gonna go to my composite view and I'm just gonna put this to 1024, 1024. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a null. Call this out uh, displacement. I'm gonna use this for displacement. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like delete my noise in here and I'm gonna put down a texture. Connect that. I'm gonna drag this in here. And by default now if I click render, nothing will happen. But what will work and which didn't work a couple of like I tried this a couple of months ago and that didn't work but now it does work so I guess they changed something if you put OP and it will force to cook um, so I'm pressing render now as you can see it works uh, it works perfectly to be honest so what I can do now is here I can uh, I can change my noise I need to click render again to make it update so basically what this allows you to do is like just use um, use the Houdini noise uh, noises inside of your Redshift shader building, which is uh, super awesome. Um, and that also makes for a lot for like for some other stuff. Like for example, I could uh, do a uh, normal, let me check. From grayscale, so as you can see, now I'm getting a normal map. Um, so I could make another output, call this out normal, and I could do this the same with a uh, normal map, or you can see bump map. Disconnect my displacement to test it out. As you can see now, I'm using it as a normal map. Um, you can use it in anything. You can use it in the colors and whatever. And this this really opens up a lot of possibilities when it comes to shader building because the the normal noises are just very limited. And this finally makes it possible to make like amazing shaders inside of um, Redshift through Houdini. Um, so I just wanted to let you know about that. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about this because I just found out about that the OP was working before. What I did before was I would uh, I would put a, put a raw like an like an output and then save out the images every time. But now it's working by default, so that's uh, that's awesome to be honest. All right, talk to you next time. Bye.